What is going on YouTube? It's your boy Spanko and today I'm excited because I'm going to be doing a video It's a little bit different than what we usually do However, I think this is a very important video for all Yu-Gi-Oh players to know and that is how to organize your cards I'm talking about trade binder band stuff bulk staples extra deck all of that stuff I'm gonna be showing you guys how to do it in today's video now if you guys do enjoy these videos make sure to like the video and subscribe to the channel for more Yu-Gi-Oh content I upload five days a week for you guys deck profiles combo videos even stuff like this that I've never really done before I think it's very important to know and I think you guys are gonna enjoy it and with that being said I don't want to take up more of your time so let's get into how to organize your cards okay so let me just start off by saying when it comes to organizing Yu-Gi-Oh cards I don't think anyone's actually found a perfect method or a perfect solution but i am going to be showing you guys what i do it helps me so so much because i always know where everything is if i'm ever looking for something i know exactly where to go and it makes my life so much easier it makes things a lot less time wasting and that's why i think some of these tips that i'm going to be showing you guys are very very important now keep in mind that there are going to be different cards that are going to be stored away so for example everyone has different cards that are going into their collection versus cards that go into trade binders versus cards that are staples versus cards that are deck cores all of these these are different things and I'm going to be showing you guys how to organize all of these different things. So first, since the last thing we said was deck cores, I'm going to be showing you guys kind of like what I do with deck cores. And if you guys have full decks that are ready to go, feel free to put them in a deck box to take to your locals. But what I do is I have a lot of deck cores as someone who does deck profiles a lot. So what I do is I have one of these mega tins. It could be any kind of tin. doesn't have to be this one specifically, obviously. And I have a little thing that says deck cores here. And I know when I open it up, I have a bunch of piles right here. So here, for example, this is actually not even scrap funny enough. I know scrap chimeras the first card but this is actually dino right here right so if i need dino stuff it's organized here you have my yosenjus we have my uh, tangy stuff here for higher stuff and as you guys can see the list goes on and on and on and these are all deck cores that i use right and if i need them for my deck profiles i know exactly where to go because they're always going to be ready for me right so these are really important this is one of my favorite things to do is organize your cards by either deck core by archetype stuff like that because what it ends up doing is it, it makes your life so much easier when you end up needing those cards and you know where everything is so this is one of my go-to things i have one for goat format here i can show you guys that one as well like here's another one i have that says goat format so if you guys open this up these are all cards that i can use for goat format so there's always going to be these kind of things that i like and these tins are amazing by the way because they fit cards so perfectly so i really really like these tins and this is one of my go-to ways to organize piles of cards not just random cards these are for things that you know just go well together things that make sense together oh i need goat cards all my goat cards are in here there's not going to be random cards in here right i need a deck core my deck cores like i showed you guys are organized in here etc etc so when you guys use these kind of tins make sure you use them very smartly you don't want to just put cards in here yes you can even make this something like hollow monsters so all your cards in here are going to be hollow monster cards you can make like rares so now all the cards in here are going to be rares etc etc but you have to make it so that they all match each other because it wouldn't make sense for random cards to be everywhere right so this is one of my go-to options like i said earlier but i have a lot more things that you guys can do and that i do myself personally so i'm gonna put this over here to the side the next thing i do is of course like i said earlier deck boxes deck boxes are really really cool but funny enough i actually don't use my deck boxes for my deck cores and this is going to sound very funny but the reason i don't do that is because first of all i never really use these deck boxes specifically to take to my locals anyways so i don't put my deck cores in here because then i would have to move my deck cores into a proper deck box for me personally but not just that the reason i don't do that is because you see how these are different colors it actually plays a role and you guys might be wondering spanko what do the colors have to do with your deck boxes now this might be genius or this might just be me thinking i'm a genius but i'm not and that is what do you guys think in the comment section let me know what do you guys think before i reveal it here is in the white deck box i'm going to open it up for you guys i'm going to show you guys right here okay forget the first few sleeves but it's going to be synchro monsters oh my god white Yu-Gi-Oh cards in a white deck box that makes sense if i ever need a synchro monster i know where to get it i know it's going to be in the white deck box wait spanko you need a trap card it's going to be in the red one now okay i guess you could argue trap cards are also pink or purple yeah, it's, it's really up to you i kind of see this kind of matching this is just me if you guys like purple or if you guys like pink then you guys can use those as well but essentially oh my god look my trap cards are in the pink one and you guys might able to see that they're all just trap cards cards that are going to go in and out of my deck right at any point in time so what i like to do is i like to do it that way right green for spells etc etc so that's another way you guys can do it you guys can use your actual deck boxes here and color coordinate them 
because when they're color coordinated, it makes your life so much easier. You can get a black one for Ixies, a blue one for Link monsters. Okay, well, I guess blue is also ritual, so that might be a little bit difficult, but it just makes your life so much easier when they're all organized like this. Now, keep in mind, as you guys organize them like this, you guys might be wondering, okay, but Spanko, why don't you put your trap cards in like a tin, for example? Okay, you guys can do that as well. It just makes it so that you have to have more tins and tins are bigger usually. And honestly, like you're not probably going to have a full tin worth of staple trap cards. So that's just kind of how I do it. But speaking of staple trap cards, that's what I like to do in these deck boxes, right? I like to have my staples in here. So for example, if I need evenly matched, which can go into any side deck at any point, I believe these sleeves were actually for anti spells and anti spells are currently in my deck, right? So it's, there's stuff like that in here. Imperial order should actually be in my band binder, which I'm going to get into that in just a second. But yeah, so you have your trap cards here that are always easily accessible to you. If I need a synchro monster, I have the same thing for link monsters, for fusion monsters. I have them all over there. I'm not going to pull out every single deck box I have, but I want to show you guys, this is a really good way to organize your cards because it color coordinates it for you and it makes it really, really nice and easy to find. So I'm going to put these over here to the side now. We're going to forget about these for just a second. These are my color coordinated spell trap monster, etc., etc. deck boxes. We're going to put them to the side. Remember how I talked about binders? Binders are also a really, really good way to store your cards. Now, again, I talked about how the tins are used for stuff like deck cores, stuff that fit in well together. You can use the deck boxes for your staples. Now binders, what are binders used for? So first thing is, if you ever guys want to trade binder, trade binders are also really good. So you want to make sure you have that. Also, if you guys want to check out a how to organize your trade binder video, it was actually yesterday's video. So you guys can check that out. A link will be in the description. I showed you guys how to organize your trade binder. This right here specifically, I know that this one is my band binder. So in here, you guys are going to open it up and you're going to see it's just all a bunch of band cards in here. Now, I didn't honestly organize this in any single way inside the band binder. I just know that all these cards in here are banned. And the nice thing about having a band binder is that this is my secret sauce of making a lot of money. I like to collect a lot of cards that are banned. Cards get banned. They usually tank in price and I just pick them up. Because as soon as they come off the ban list, they can be worth a lot of money sometimes. So that's what I have here. This is my band binder. But again, you guys can have binders for any single purpose. It could be a trade binder. It could be a collection binder. I mean, I do a series where I show you guys my collection. But this one, for example, is like a collection binder for me where I have like a bunch of my ghost rares, a bunch of my ultimate rares, stuff like that. So that's all in there. So yeah, again, like you guys can see, binders are really, really good because it lets you organize different things, right? You want to organize your collection? Binder. You want to organize your band stuff? Binder. You want to organize your trade binder? Binder. So that's really nice. So binders are really good as well. So these are three different methods that I just showed you guys, but there's one more method because one question I always get is Spanko. How do you organize your bulk? Bulk is really hard to organize. I'll be honest with you because it's a lot of cards. It's a lot of cards that really aren't valuable. You don't want to sleeve them up. You don't want to put them in, you know, deck boxes and waste a lot of storage space because you're never really going to look into them, right? So what I like to do and my favorite thing to do, honestly, is get one of these really long white cardboard boxes here. And you guys can see I labeled this one monsters, common monsters because these are mostly just bulk cards here. So these are a lot of the monster common cards. And essentially what I do with this is you guys will see I'll open it up and there's just going to be a ton of bulk here. Now I have the same one for spells and traps, for rares. I have one of these for bulk rares, for bulk hollows, etc, etc. For extra deck even, I have one for extra deck commons. So keep in mind that this is just monsters. This does not include extra deck monsters, right? So I have my stuff organized like that. And if you guys are curious what this is, I forget the name of these. I think they're like, here. here's a storage box. Uh, you guys can find these at any locals. My local sells them for like 20 cents, I think a pop or maybe 30 cents a pop. I don't know what it is, but very, very cheap. So I get like three or four of these and you can organize all your bulk. This is my favorite way of organizing bulk because what ends up happening is in the future, if you ever want to sell your bulk, you guys can count up exactly what's in here and then you can just write down a number. And when you go to a store, you guys can be like, here's my bulk. I've already counted it up for you. You don't have to go through it all over again, waste an hour, two hours of time, just all of us looking through cards, all of us counting cards. What's the point, right? Here it is. It's organized. It's ready to go. So this is my favorite way of storing bulk cards. You guys like, honestly, I'll show you guys. You guys can pull out any random pile in here and it's just a bunch of bulk comments. Let me move this out of the way. So it's just a bunch of bulk comments. So it's just really, really easy once it's organized because at any point, if you guys know a card is a random common that just became popular in a deck or something like that and you need it, you also still know where it is. Now, of course, it's in bulk, so it might be a little bit harder to find, but you know it's going to be in a bulk card, so it's very easy to organize. So this method is one of my favorite methods for bulk cards. I don't know if it's the perfect method, but this is my favorite method for bulk cards. It's the best way that I found organizing it. But yeah, let me know what you guys do for your collection. This is what I do. I'm going to show you guys the three different methods here. You have the binder, you have the deck boxes, you have the tins. There's so many different ways to go about organizing your collection. But when you do have it organized and when you have all your cards organized, you makes your life so much easier. You don't have to spend hours putting your deck together because you're like,
like, where's this card? And oh my God, I need my staple, you know, lightning storms, or I need my staple MSTs, and I don't know where they are. Well, you know that if they're color coded in something like this, hey, my spell cards are all in the potentially blue and or green deck box you know same thing with extra deck you know where everything is so this is my favorite way of organizing cards and i think this works really really well for me i think you should try it out so that is it for today's video i hope you guys did enjoy now i showed you guys what i like to do how i like to organize my cards now there's obviously a ton of different ways to organize cards you guys can put your staples in binders however binders can kind of be expensive and you're gonna have to stack up on binders i mean it's really up to you there's a ton of different ways to do it however as long as you find a way that makes it easy for you where you know where everything is and now everything just becomes so much easier when you need to go through your cards when you need to build your decks i feel like that's really really important for all of us because it saves us a lot of time and the more time we have to save the more time we have to duel now make sure to like the video and subscribe to the channel if you guys did enjoy if you guys have any suggestions or any ideas that you guys like to do let us know in the comment section down below that's how we get better together as a community that's how we can learn things together as a community and maybe you guys have some really cool ideas that i can incorporate as well so thank you guys all for watching appreciate every single one of you and with that spanko signing out peace